Just a quick one guys, before we get into today's video, we're currently doing £5 off all our Rangers t-shirts. We also have brand new designs, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or going to rfcclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Okay guys, we've got a few bits and pieces to go through with you in today's video, of course, the big Josh Meyer news, we're also going to be going through the latest on Sam Lammers, and then we're going to be going through uh, a recent Rangers statement stating that they have withdrawn out of the Lowland League, we'll discuss all of that. Guys, we're trying to get to 25,000 subscribers by the end of the transfer window, so please do press that big red button if you haven't already. We only listen to reputable sources, and we'll keep you on the straight and narrow as Rangers go under one of the biggest rebuilds in their recent history. Let's start with Sam Lammers. Look, a couple of days ago, we said that uh, Rangers had agreed a deal. It's a done deal. He has signed for Rangers, and he should be officially unveiled over the next couple of days. Fabrizio Romano stated he's in Glasgow go now uh, completing a medical so if the medical goes right uh, he should be officially unveiled by rangers scarf above the head and all of that and to be fair by the time you're watching this video it may have already been announced if not should be announced by friday or over the weekend now discussing goal scorers um, this is another player that rangers are heavily linked with this is of course josh meyer and this one unlike sam lammers and um serial dessers this one really excites rangers fans because of his stats 16 goals and seven assists in Ligue 2 this season with Bordeaux uh, and everyone knows his situation to be honest with you of course look Josh Meyer is now available for free or should be um, available for free because uh, Bordeaux failed to gain promotion to the top flight of French football uh, however that was a controversial decision as to why Bordeaux didn't get promoted uh, basically um they were they were had to forfeit their game the final game after a match was cancelled uh, when Bordeaux were one nil down when a fan sort of came onto the field of play and attacked the goal scorer um, basically uh, the Bordeaux have now launched an appeal and said it's unfair and rightfully so you'd be absolute raging if you missed down promotion by you have to be forced to forfeit a game and basically the big news now is is that Rangers are playing a waiting game to try and go into this situation Rangers uh, are really really interested in Josh Meyer and as I said are monitoring situation very very closely very much concrete interest and are willing to make a move for the free agent however now with this appeal from uh, Bordeaux to the French Football Federation this could go on all the way to the end of the summer transfer window um, so now his future is up in the air and this could be a long, long waiting game uh, before anything happens. Of course, Rangers and uh, Fulham are the teams that are said to be uh, interested in the player. But as I said, it's going to be a waiting game uh, between sort of now and then. They basically said... Um, Bordeaux will contact the CNOSF as soon as possible to defend its rights as a sporting fairness. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's all we've already got for you with regards to Josh Meyer. But it is some huge news. Bordeaux have appealed um, to the French Footballing Federation and now it's a waiting game. I don't think it's ever going to be resolved. What are they going to do in the summer? Make them play the game again? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think it is going to get resolved. I don't think they're going to go to Ligue 1. I think it's going to stay the same way. So Josh Meyer probably will. Well, he will be a free agent due to the clause in his contract and um, Rangers should be able to sweep in from there on out. Now, into in other news, as I stated in the intro, uh, Rangers have withdrawn their B-side from the Lowland League. Now, this is an interesting situation because, look, Rangers... Um, well, the SFA have always been very vocal on the SFA. They're very, very backwards and... Um, and never really like to evolve the game, whether it be the TV, whether it be just other innovative ideas. And this idea, you know, where Rangers and Celtic have actually came together with other clubs and sort of backed a sort of conference league to come in as the fifth tier um, and then join the footballing pyramid. As I said, the SFA have sort of said, no, we're not interested. And as a result, Rangers B have now withdrawn their 
uh, Rangers have now withdrawn their Colt team, the B team, from the Lola League. After over the last two years, Rangers have played down there along with Celtic. Um, and as I said, the, the whole idea was to sort of give the B team some competitive football, which helps. But of course, the standard is very, 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 very poor. Um, we send Tony Weston, a player that was playing with the Rangers B, score up 40 goals down there, uh, went to the championship in Scotland really very much struggled uh, same with league one um, and yeah basically that was the situation um, however the the new idea was to bring a conference league in as a fifth tier and allow the the, the b teams to sort of go up the ranks if you like um, and basically they've decided against it and a rangers statement basically said um, rangers can today announce that the club will not be entering a b team in the scottish lowland league in the season in 2023-2024 beyond this follows the scottish fa's decision to withdraw a vote on proposed introduction of a conference league at the tier five of the national football pyramid firstly rangers would like to put on record our sincere thanks to the the Lola League for hosting a Rangers B team in their league for the past two seasons and to the clubs for their fantastic hospitality and sporting challenges during that time. Rangers wishes every and uh, one of them for the very best for the future. Now, look, I'm not going to read the whole club statement, but basically it's just sort of them uh, Rangers coming out with their sort of distaste for the way that the SFA don't want to evolve the game. And as I said, around Europe, if you look at the Netherlands with Ajax Jong, PSV Jong, uh, look to Germany, Bayern Munich's B teams, Real Madrid Castilla, Barcelona B in um, in Spain. It's very, very. It's a very, very successful model uh, having your B teams within the pyramid of your national league. Um, obviously, in England, it's not really a thing. It's well, it isn't a done thing, um, but. In Europe, it is, and it's, it's a very successful model, and it helps develop young players. I do think the SFA are dropping another bollock on this, and they should be trying to evolve it. And I think, actually, if you look at it, Rangers B, Celtic B, I think Rangers fans uh, I can speak of um, from first hand are that passionate that if they're not playing on the same day as the first team, they'll go back in the numbers to go watch a competitive championship or a competitive League One game against... Um, against the other sides and just go out there and back in their numbers and I think you'll get more people through the door on a match day and it'll just only be beneficial for all of those uh, teams within the division and in the pyramid so I think as I said I don't know why the Scottish FA don't want to vote that in it would be great and it's actually something Rangers and Celtic actually agree on for a change so um, yeah a weird weird old scenario I don't know why they want to do it um, I think it would evolve the game massively and definitely help out uh, the big teams in Scotland for sure and um, help develop young players and, and, and maybe see more players actually emerge. But, you know, it is what it is. And um, that's the decision that has been made. But nothing surprises me with the SFA this uh, in this day and age. Uh, lastly, guys, I also just want to stay as well. Uh, Leighton Clark, and it looks like he's signed for Aberdeen. I think, again, Rangers are going to regret not going in for that one. I did, was, I did actually make a video prior um, to recording this one. It was meant to go out this morning, stating that Rangers should hijack the deal for Leighton Clarkson. Um, and basically, he was won the Young Player of the Year award in Scotland last year for Aberdeen. Fantastic. On loan from Liverpool. Uh, scored a wonder goal against Rangers. Actually, had some scored quite a few goals. Uh, from midfield was very impactful within that Aberdeen team helped them of course to that European spot and I think he's been available men available for less than a million quid he's 19 years old he's a young player and I think you'll remember the name I think Aberdeen have done a great bit of business there I thought Rangers should have hijacked that move um, and, and and brought him into the football club this summer but obviously it's too late as it looks like that is a done deal uh, but that was just a little added there I, I just thought Rangers should have hijacked it but then I said it was a done deal and then I had to cancel the upload. So it is what it is. Uh, but Rangers fans, do let me know your thoughts with regards to Josh Meyer. Did the club, do you think the club should sign him this summer? Yes or no? Let me down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Remember, we do have Rangers t-shirts available on our website. So do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.